Hello and welcome to another episode of my Nomad Camden County playthrough. We are here at another crossroads. We are in Alton. It is mid-afternoon and we've got some more exploring to do and some more zombies to kill. So I've done a couple of little things between now and the last episode. I got to the crossroads here at the end of the last episode and realised that my map, my hand-drawn sketchy shitty little map was just just looked awful so I've, I've spent more than enough time uh, redrawing that so I'm just going to quickly show you that uh, so it's not the greatest but it's better than nothing it's better than nothing and it's a little bit more um, accurate now but we're going to press on we're going to go up here we still really want to find some tools uh, we've got a hammer but we could do with some nails a saw that sort of thing so we're gonna go up here see what we can find we are a little bit low on food but I think the other side of the crossroads there is some residential it's gonna be quite a challenge quite a pain in the ass trying to keep an accurate map that guy's got some cool gear See if I can try and separate him out. I also walked back down to the city limits because I remember when I was editing the previous video I remembered that there was a military guy and he uh, I, when I killed him there was a military helmet that went on the floor so I went back to look for that because I thought that would be a much better look than the police helmet I've got at the moment. But it wasn't there. But it wasn't there. All of a sudden, it is half past three. Let's just switch to the nightstick. Time goes by when you're having fun, huh? There's one strong zombie. They've got some cool gear, though. Let's have a look. Wow. They were locked and loaded. That is a lot of gear and they've finally broken through the barricades. There were two big buildings either side of the crossroads. There are two story apartments. So I mark them on the map. I'm not going to go in and explore. Uh, nomad means we're not going to be doing a base, so we're not going to be sort of systematically looting. Take some spare gloves really could do with finding some cigarettes. With that in mind, let's see if we can find anything in this car. Ah oh, yes, it's like I knew on some level I knew. That is immense. That will enable us to um, manage our anxiety so much more. We've also got a hearty appetite, so that is getting a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to drop these books because I, I really, well I'll keep the carpentry. It's sacrilege, isn't it? I'll drop the cooking. Check out these buildings here. Have a quick search. Looking for nails, a saw, maybe a blunt weapon. Do I have a lead pipe? Yeah, okay, I'm alright for weapons. I am alright for weapons. I'll take some wood glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what have you got there? Nothing I want. I've got a hammer already. I'll take some duct tape. We can use that to repair our spears. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is going on the back. 
We're axe specialists, so we're level 2 axe already. We do have a wood axe in our bag. But they're a bit slow and cumbersome for combat. And they do drain your endurance quite a lot. I'm going to take a tarp. One thing, a couple of things I want to have sorted before I leave town is I want a tent kit and a campfire kit. Uh, I do also have a mod installed on this game which is uh, sleeping bags which I've not used before so we can do that in a pinch. Right, I'm just going to try and update the map a little bit better. Okay, well we found a few things. We've got some nails. And still would like to find a saw really. What have we got here? Hmm, just some sort of storage area I guess. <clears throat> I'm still struggling a bit with COVID so my voice might get a little bit croaky. I'll try to avoid coughing. Not does not come through very well on the mic. A file, okay. I think I will take that because it's quite light. Wonder if there's some sort of utility belt in this game. That would be quite cool. We've got more weapon options that I've got space for on my belt at the moment. It'd be nice to have. A uh, hunting knife on my belt so we can do a little bit of crafting and yes you did just see that zombie open the door that is one of the interesting features of random zombies in this game there's some zombies outside somewhere Any more cigarettes? No, that's okay. 20 will last a while. Do a quick sweep of here. I think I've read that. Yeah. And that. Any food? I've only got a few bits of food. Uh, I think I might just eat that straight away so difficult to draw an accurate map man every little bit I draw makes it slightly more inaccurate and out of sync. I'm just gonna oh I missed a couple of boxes. A paper clip. <coughs> Excuse me, right. I got beer actually. I do need to drink that before I go to bed. Looking for a safe spot just to update the map. Right back in a mo. Alrighty, I don't think I checked this mini fridge actually did I? Okay, I can see I'm going to have to start making some difficult choices with what I carry in my bag. I might have to drop a few weapons. I've got a few skill books to read, but the book's almost full. Right, let's get back to the crossroads and see what's in the other direction before we continue north. storage area there that is a lot of zombies and I think a lot of them just saw me okay well we finally got some zombies I uh, got three we can take three with a spear all right should we do some hand axe stuff let's have a go with the hand axe I think we start at level two We've got some wood glue so we can repair it as well.
And I might have just attracted a leader. Hmm. Spear or hand axe? It's got to be spear, hasn't it? It's got to be spear. And that's why. It's also a, a quicker swing speed. Wow, that was pretty emphatic, wasn't it? Three one hits in a row. Only at level one. Listen very carefully for our back as we get closer to that apartment. I'm not actually going to disassemble any more electrical stuff. I might just dive in there for, to see if I can find a few bits of food. This guy's got a crowbar. We've already got one of those. Where'd he go? Disappearing zombie. Right, we're finally getting some more significant zombie numbers as we go deeper into town. It'll be interesting to see what our first residential area is like, and I think there is one coming up. There's a lot of, that is a big group, or was a big group of zombies. Another bookstore there by the look of it. Already so effective with the spear. Only at level one. Let's dive in here to that apartment. See if we can find any food. Oh, wow, okay, incredible. Let's grab all of that. I didn't mean the dog food. Hopefully things will never be Bad enough for me to have the dog food. Right, I'm gonna have to smoke again. We're gonna be chain smoking, I think. Right, I think. Hmm, I will probably drop the crowbar. Apologies for you crowbar fans out there, but I just don't find them that effective at low levels. The damage is quite low. Quite low. Sorry. Okay. So we've got a bookstore there, got a storage area there. It's starting to get dark. Not really sure if I want to check out the storage area at all. I'm checking here for skill books. There's not going to be much thought given, much time given to skill progression in this playthrough. It is a nomad playthrough, there's no base stuff to do. Um, I'm really looking to just explore Camden County take some scissors nearly worn out but I can quickly dive in here for skill books do have quite a few uh, crafting mods enabled so it'd be quite interesting to get to grips with those scrap armor for example nice have a look at that properly a bit later wouldn't mind it's interesting wouldn't mind um, some sort of no, no, I thought I'd read that one tailoring volume one Man, there's a 
big bookstore. Uh, no tailoring volume one, just about everything, but of course. Right, update map time. Okay, we need to have some more food, so let's have some tuna. Oh, we're out of water. My bad. It is getting dark, so we need to think about somewhere safe to sleep. There's a big storage area. Right, we're good off. We're just coming into our first residential area. It's pretty quiet. It's well barricaded. Oh. There we go. It's pretty quiet. Walks around the corner. As always, there they are. Sleeping in a car is always an option. Let's take out these guys and let's check out that house. Another survivor dude, another large backpack. I do not know what is causing the increased survivor dude spawns. Oh yes, excellent. Finally we are getting a supply of cigarettes. And with that in mind, let's have a smoke. Those noises creep me out sometimes, they really do. Man, it's 10 o'clock and we're not even tired. Right, we're going to have to go in through the window of this bedroom. Hope that when we open the door, there is not three or four zombies. I think we're good. Let's fill our water while we've got the time. Any food? No. Hmm, shotgun shells. I haven't got a shotgun at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to... Ooh, excellent. Sleeping bag. Right, let's have some more food. Just starting to get tired now. Let's close the curtains. So you know the drill. We found somewhere safe-ish to sleep for the night. So I'm going to hunker down, I'm going to uh, read the skill books, just typical that both of the bedrooms have got um, no barricades on them. So I'm going to have to go back outside, grab a barricade or two, so I can barricade at least one of the windows and then I'm going to read all the skill mags I've got so I can drop them have a big breakfast and I'll cut back hopefully in the morning we're all safe and sound ok guys it is early morning Chuck got his usual 5 hours sleep thank you wakeful trait that is going to 
come in handy. We've got a zombie been scampering right outside this house all night. They haven't come knocking at the barricades, so that was fortunate. Let's get our hunt axe equipped. I didn't quite finish reading all our books. But we'll dump what we have. Red. See our bag is very full already. Right, I'm going to tidy up our inventory. Before maybe make a stab at <coughs> updating the map as well. And then we'll move on. Alrighty guys, we've given ourselves a wash. I've rejigged the map again and I've just realized that I managed to climb through a window that I hadn't cleared the glass for so that's my first injury of this series entirely self-inflicted I am scared of blood and scared of giving first aid so let's take some painkillers so I've decided to change it again <laughs> with the uh, map and I'm just going to uh, just mark the roads and I'm going to, with the buildings, I'm just going to write what they are because I'm already getting a little bit, I've just run out of space basically. I just, it's not a, not a strength of mine, shall we say, huh? Uh, oh, right, I managed to cut myself on my right hand, so... Um, that's great. My swing is a little bit slower. I'm going to check the cars. The cigarettes. We've got two, two story homes. I'm going to update the map again. I'm already going a little bit awry with the roads. But if I just do it while I'm standing in the middle of the road, I should be able to keep it reasonably accurate. Alrighty, I've updated the map. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. That is basically as good as it's going to get. The red means I have uh, searched it. The blue means I haven't. And like I said, I'm just going to try and get the roads right and just write in the buildings. H is for house. Uh, I haven't actually gone in the next house, so let's do that. We, we could do with a little bit more food. This looks like a very, very big town. Well, I say very big. I'm guessing it'll be like... Let me jump. Rosewood or Riverside, that sort of thing. Let's uh, not enter into an enclosed space with the zombie. We'll unbarricade and we'll have them... We'll let them come out. Man, that is... That is a slow swing. Wow, that is crazy. Just goes to show how things can change. A little little scratch on our arm, and it's like we're going in slow motion. Okay, we are clear. I'm not going to bother with upstairs. Just gonna see if there's any food apart from dog food. Apart from dog food. Now let's drink the pop. It's got a little bit of unhappiness boost. Okay, let's continue. Let's check out these cars see if now they've got any cigarettes in them. Check that vending machine actually as well. I have said it before, when you do it on foot you realise just how big the zomboid world actually is. I'm looking for cigarettes basically. Highly desirable item at the moment.
Everything's locked up, man. Man, we are not going to be up for much fighting today. Man. Tiny little scratch on my hand. Tiny little scratch on my hand. Right, let's check this one. Cigarettes. I was just really distracted by the vehicle key. It is just so tempting. So tempting. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main drag. I'm going to leave the residential for when we want to come back somewhere to sleep. We've got a two-story home just behind us. Now, where did these guys come from? Where on earth did these guys come from? I'm guessing they've been fence hugging. We've got another survivor. Oh wow. That was it's made that spear animation even slower. You have to be super careful, super slow. Anything more than a couple at a time, we could quite easily get overwhelmed. Shotgun shells, there's so much temptation, so much loot. Well, he walked right into that one, didn't he? Let's go past them if we can. Actually, let's take them out because if we're coming back here late at night and it's dark and I'm tired, I don't want to have to deal with zombies. This would be a lot harder without a spear, that is for sure. Does it need changing? Yeah, it does. We've got a couple of bandages, got plenty of water. Should be healed in 24 hours, I want to say. Let's clean that. Let's drop that. Office space there. Two story, but what have I got? The only reason I might be interested in an office space is cigarettes. Cigarettes or lighters, but I'm actually good for those now for a good week or so. Bad condition. Pretty clear. What is our weight doing? Um, we are 76, so we're no longer underweight, which is nice. Do I want to go in there? I think I'll probably. Probably do. Let's unbarricade though, actually, because that'll make less noise. And we'll see if we can find a few bits of food. We've got plenty of ketchup. Sugar. To hell with diabetes. Let's just go for it. And I actually need to start. No. 
I've already got one knot of ketchup. Well, then I actually have to start slowing down on the old food. Well, that's a shithole. It doesn't look like the most well-to-do town, does it? Quite a big laundromat. It is quiet. We've got a video store. Offices. Air place. You groups of zombies. Right, I'm going to update the map some more, get that road properly orientated. Alrighty guys, I see in the distance an easy picking tools. And a very cool fountain. Still feeling that there needs to be a little, a little more zombies. So I'm on normal population. Starting is at half of that. And then it reaches peak at six weeks in. Right, well let's check out the old EP tools. Always a welcome sight. The more and more I think about this playthrough, more and more I think I should be adding sprinters and make it more interesting one thing I have learned with this playthrough is that I can't draw freehand with a mouse to save my life see what we can find in here. Ooh. I've never seen one of these. I've been playing with the Better Flashlights mod for quite a long time and that is the first, that's not good, the first mining helmet I've seen. You can attach a light to them which would free up a slot on my belt. Got a clean denim shirt there. I think I'm going to wear that. Get rid of the dirty one. Well, the shelves aren't exactly full, are they? Plaster powder. But then again, it is insanely rare, so that's fair enough. Still panicked at the sight of one zombie. 100 kills in. Let's be wary of that open. Ooh. Yes. And Hatchet, part of the Bushcraft Tools mod. One of my favourites. I'm going to take the pliers. Little slim pickings, finally somewhere that properly sort of suggests insanely rare loot We're seeing much activity We're still moving a little bit hmm Another bookstore. I do like this main sort of boulevard idea. Here they come. Right, well, let's just keep going this way, see what we can see, and I'll just walk back down and sort of update the map 
between episodes. Got another army guy. Does that mean there was an army base nearby? Already a sort of hand action is a little bit quicker. Big office building there. A couple of zombies with rather excellent eyesight. Let's take them out. Got smashing shell suit. Absolutely awesome. Bright pink, as you do. Looks like we've got a park here. Just by EP tools. The spear's almost dead. Unlike me. We dump this spear once it is done because we are we've already repaired it once and we do have a spare one. So we can get a lot of usage out of that. We've got a greens. Let's just finish off the episode by being annoyed at that zombie not coming through the door. <laughs> but uh, we'll finish off the episode by uh, popping in here, see if we can find some junk food. Just put on a clean bandage. We've got no disinfectant. And we can die from infections. So a farmer hug would be welcome. Let's have a quick loop through here. Bag is getting more full. Uh, rather predictably, I did completely forget to drink that beer. And I don't think I'm going to need it. I took it specifically to drink before we went to bed, so it wouldn't be detrimentally affected by the alcohol. But we would uh, still get the, uh, the weight gain. Anything for me? This is probably all going to be rotten. Yeah. Couple of storage areas. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it for today's episode. We'll pick up the next episode exactly where we are now. Um, but I will go out between episodes just work my way back down the high street updating the map see if I can actually do a straight road um, map per making freehand not my thing huh not my thing well I hope you guys are enjoying the, the sort of chilled experience of Camden County it is slow going on foot perhaps and I think um, I'll primarily try and get cover a wider area for the next episode for sure there's not really much that we need to loot at the moment it'd be nice to find some more tent pegs so we can make a tent nothing in the ep tools for that i'm afraid but yeah if you're new to the channel and you like uh, please do subscribe it really does help me out smash that like button comment down below and i hope you guys will all join me new and existing subscribers for the next episode of my Camden County Nomad exploration. But for now, that is all. Hope you guys are well. Peace.